win is just a C in your brand jackets and seminar, right? Well, hello, Oakland! Yeah. You know, thank you for being here. Can thank you for down? taking the Please. time, the effort, the expense. I just, from the bottom of my heart, I just really want to thank you for being here because if you're here, you're serious about your Mary Kay business, and that fires me up. Are you serious about your Mary Kay business? Your being here means that you're all in. You're all in. Well, while I'm very new to this role as your president, my Mary Kay story goes way back, all the way back, actually when I was in seventh grade <laughs> in Arlington, Texas, just a, oh, that's funny, <laughs> just a stone's throw from the Mary Kay headquarters in Arlington, Texas. One of my best friends, his name was Tim Harden, and Tim's father, Jim, worked for Mary Kay in sales development. And everyone loved the Hardens. And uh, Jim, he was hilarious. And he, he took every opportunity that he could to make us all laugh and to embarrass his son. Well, one day, Jim thought it would be great fun to pick up the carpool of smelly football boys in a pink Cadillac. Uh. <laughs> And I remember seeing Jim with the windows down, and he's waving his hand wildly out of the window, honking in a Mary Kay pink Cadillac. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was one of those 1980s, the big, long, land yacht, awesome pink Cadillacs. And typical Jim, he made a big scene as we all piled into the Cadillac in front of the school. You know, but on our way home, he told us stories about Mary Kay Act and, um, and the company. You know, and it was just evident that he greatly admired his boss and that he loved his company and that he loved his job. And you know, that made a big impression on me as a seventh grader, to hear an adult talk so affectionately about their job, about their company, about the sales force, it was unusual. But you know what, it, it made me think, wow, one day, one day, I'd like to feel the same way about my company, about my job. Looking back, you might say, he planted a small seed. So as I stepped out of that pink Cadillac and I watched it drive off from my house, I had no idea that one day I would be standing Woo! here so here I am, and it feels like I'm in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, while I'm new to this role as your president, I've actually been with Mary Kay for 21 years. And I joined as a staff attorney, and uh, my first assignment was to support you, the independent sales force. And at the time, uh, sales was led by Gary Jinks. Many of you know Gary, right? Okay. And I, I went to meet Gary, and I told Gary, I said, my goal is to be the best attorney that your group has ever had advice in. What do I need to do? And um, I'll never forget what he said. He said, now Nathan, he said, your, your law degree, that's impressive. He said, but it's not nearly as important. It's not nearly as important as your knowing what this business is all about. And Nathan, this business is all about the independent sales force. And that's it. He said, take every opportunity to get out, to participate in the field and in special events, and meet our sales force members. You know, it was great advice, and it's certainly advice that I pass on to new employees today. Well, I attended my first career conference, as Carol mentioned, shortly thereafter, and I've been to one ever since. Now, I started off in registration, and I remember seeing people up there on stage with microphones. I, I want to do that. How do I get there? And uh, so it took a little work, but I graduated from registration assistant to MC, and here I am today. <laughs> so I love, I love career conference. It's my favorite. It's my favorite Mary Kay event. I love career conference. Um, well, last year at career conference, so before I took this, this new role, I was still the chief legal officer at the time. But I MC 
the Phoenix Career Conference. And um, when I opened up on the Friday night, um, I opened with some words from my heart, and I'd like to share those with you today. And explain to those in attendance how they got the great good fortune of getting the lawyer from Dallas as their MC. Um, I told them that, and I want to share this with you, every fiber, every fiber of my being believes in this company and believes in this opportunity. That's why I was doing something that wasn't related to my job of being an MC. And I told the group I was in Phoenix, I said, you know what, there's not a better company on the planet to be right now in Mary Kay. Not a better place. And if you're new, if you're new, and many of you, how many of you are here for your very first Mary Kay event? Many of you, congratulations. Yeah. Well, let me explain what I mean by how awesome this company is. Let me, let me unpack it for a minute. And let's look at it this way. Let's look at the ownership of our company. Your company, this company, is owned by Mary Kay's family. We're not owned by Wall Street. We're not owned by private equity. We're not owned by hedge funds. We're owned by a family that loves and honors the legacy of Mary Kay Ash. And I want you to know what a blessing that is to all of us that are here. It is truly a blessing. So that was ownership. We have the best ownership structure in the world. Let's look at leadership. Your national sales directors. You know, Mary Kay, she passed that torch of leadership to her national sales directors. In fact, most learn from Mary Kay herself, and their mission certainly never wavers. They continue her legacy, and they pass it on to each of you. And now I ask, what better leadership of a company is there than that, right? When you look at ownership, and you look at leadership, and then let's look at the support structure, your employees. This company is fortunate to have employees that absolutely love serving you. Employees that realize that you are what this business is all about. Simply put, you, each one of you, are our why. And it's why we do what we do day in and day out. It's because of you that I'm committed to do all that I can to ensure that we provide you with the world-class service, with the tools, the programs, the love, and the support that you so, you so all richly deserve. You see that when we focus on you, then you are set up for success. You can spread this opportunity. You can spread the love and the incredible Mary Kay opportunity. And that's how we get to the all-in movement and my three imperatives that you've been hearing about. And um, actually, actually, um, my wife is here today, and she's, uh, she's somewhere. Um, anyway, I, I brought Joy with me. And uh, we were talking backstage about the three imperatives, and Joy was like, well, the whole family knows what the three imperatives are. <laughs> her, her parents know, my parents know, our kids know. Um, but, but what she's talking about is that everybody knows the three imperatives, and we're going to talk about those today. One, we must be all in on Mary Kay and the power of Greg Selly to change lives. And as I mentioned, if you're here, you're all in. And when we truly understand the power of direct selling, because that's what this, this incredible industry and the best company in the industry, it's about changing lives. And that's why you're here. That's why I'm here. We must be all in on Mary Kay and the power of direct selling to change lives. Two, we will reclaim our number one status. Woo! 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 And um, okay, the word's out. I'm just a little bit competitive. Um, just a little bit. But that's what this is about. But you know what? You all are too. That's why you're here, right? And then three, the third imperative. It's a Mary Kay quote. Nothing happens 